Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time reviewing on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Adventure Issue Number 1, Archie Comics Review. Now as you know, yeah, Ninja Turtles Adventures for the earlier issues were meant to follow adaptions of episodes from the early 1987 cartoon but more in the style of Archie, and later on down the series would follow its own continuity away from the sort of earlier episodes. And this does remind me a lot of the Digimon comics that came into the UK that had some stories that were altered from its original source. And this one is also meant to follow the whole Slash for Cash Dojo episode with the whole Crooked Ninja Turtles episode. Be sure to find it out on YouTube or ha ask someone who's talked to you about it. And the cover has, yeah, the Ninja Turtles going against Shredder. And let's get on the story. It starts off, yeah, much like the episode Return of the Shredder, where we see Leonardo and Michelangelo saying, Let's see, tofu and bean sprouts. Some assorted frozen pizzas. And we kind of see how, yeah, they kind of make their way to, to get what they need. And we see how, yeah, a lady gets robbed by two gang members. And we see how Michelangelo and Leonardo get into action. And after, yeah, stopping the two thieves, we see how, yeah, they take them down single-handedly. And we kind of see Leonardo saying, uh-oh, the boy's in blue. We've been, we better book it. All right, but first, Ellie up. And yeah, ties them up. And yeah, the cashier gives them the food on the house. And we kind of see how, yeah, they basically make their getaway. And we see how April reports the story. But the lady not having her glasses doesn't know what what kind of species they're supposed to be. And we see how, yeah, Splinter is meditating, and we see how, yeah, they're talking about Shredder, and it hadn't been for them, they would have been stuck as turtles. And we do kind of see Shredder saying, I tell you, Krang, our defeat was an accident. Send me back to Earth, and I'll prove what I can do. Krang, I implore you, send me back. Send us back to Krang. Yeah, this dimension X is a drag. Send me back. Send me back. I'm tired of your endless whining. I will send you back. And of course, yeah, we kind of see how Shredder is sent back, but not Bebop and Rocksteady. And yeah, this is also due to, to Shredder's failures. And we see how April makes her way to the Channel 6 building. And of course, turns out that the reason why Vern Thompson is on April's case is because, yeah, he's trying to impress this young lady. And I do agree with AVGN. It's clear his beliefs aren't genuine. And it's clear that he's only siding with his girlfriend just to kind of make it look like he's this knight in shining armour. And we see how, yeah, Splinter has a sort of vision that the Shredder has returned. And of course, after making his way back to Earth, we kind of see how Shredder is confronted by two muggers. And after this, we see Shredder saying, of course, I'm in the Big Apple. Foot soldiers, Bebop, Rock the City, destroy these fools. Forget it, pal. That old trick ain't gonna work. Foot soldiers, did you not hear my command? You hand over the dough. And we see how, yeah, much like the episode, Shredder takes them down single-handedly. And of course, we find out after defeating them, Krang is not giving him any resources, weapons or anything. And of course, this is Krang trying to show Shredder that if he can prove it, he can earn back his trust. And we see how, yeah, Shredder makes his way to the Slash for Cash Dojo. And this is obviously meant to be a bit like Cobra Kai. And you can even tell Shredder's right because obviously any master or teacher is responsible for whatever happens to their students. And we see how, yeah, Shredder shows off his dominant force. And this is where Slash and the other students hail him as their leader.
And yeah, after basically Fern Thompson gets word from Vernon that he's done a story, of course you can tell this story's not gonna work, and is furious that his that that his team resources and equipment got wasted. And yeah, we do kind of see how how April kind of ex tries to talk with Vern Thompson that the turtles aren't a menace. But yeah, because of Vern Thompson's girlfriend, you can tell that he's still trying to be this knight in shining armor, and it's clear that his beliefs aren't really genuine. So we kind of see how, yeah, after training slash his students, they end up becoming the Crooked Ninja Turtle Gang. And you can obviously tell that this is really a foolish plan, as it's clear someone with common sense would figure this out. And after kind of finding out about the Crooked Ninja Gang, we see how even April finds it quite ridiculous. No one's putting it two the two together. And of course, Fern Thompson will obviously d defend his girlfriend. And you can tell even Vernon still tries to take sides, as you know Vernon's more of a yes man. So of course, after letting Krang know about his progress, you can even tell even Krang finds it ridiculous, knowing that it will take forever, and yeah, wants actual results. And after basically saying to Shredder, do not contact me unless there's real progress, and we do kind of see Shredder saying, that leaves me just one place to return. And, yeah, this was the story. So I think, obviously, yeah, adapting the early Ninja Turtle comics, I can see what they were trying to do. But honestly, I think if you look at, say, the 2012 Ninja Turtles cartoon and Rise of Ninja Turtles done by IDW, they actually did their own original stories and a sort of alternative ideas to what they wanted. Sometimes working on your own Turtles adaption, you want to do something different, new, and a breath of fresh air. Not copy off same stuff from the animated show counterpart. And this is a shame because there is some ideas you can do with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles adventures. And it's clear that, yeah, later on down the line, they did their own original stories eventually. So I think this one definitely deserves a thumbs in the middle. It's not a bad idea, but it's clear that it tries to add characters later on down the line that didn't get into the show, storylines that weren't gonna happen or could have been had things been different. So Comic Reviewer here, signing out.